Greetings, guitar engineers. I'm Desi Serna. In this free guitar lesson, you get to know the difference between the major and the minor pentatonic scales, and you get to hear how the two different tonalities get applied to music. Let's dive in. You're probably already familiar with the minor pentatonic scale. It's typically one of the first scales you learn on guitar. Here's the A minor pentatonic scale beginning on A at the fifth fret of the sixth string. <laughs> Now, the notes of the pentatonic extend beyond this pattern. Players will often play some of the same scale notes down in this position, and also up in this position. A great example of a song that uses the minor pentatonic scale is Breakdown by Tom Petty. It features a lead line that sounds like this. All right, so this music is in the key of A minor, and it centers on an A minor chord, which is why the A minor pentatonic scale works over it. When you use the pentatonic scale in this way, you hear the A note in the scale as the tonic, which means primary pitch. You hear A as the starting point in the scale, and the point of resolution. When you examine the structure of the scale, you find that it includes minor intervals. The scale formula for the minor pentatonic is root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh. Now, let's change keys and play over the song Let It Be by the Beatles. It's in C major, and it has a guitar solo that sounds like this. For this song, I'm using the same scale patterns I used in the last song, except Let It Be centers on a C major chord and is in the key of C major. When you use the pentatonic scale this way, you hear the C note in the scale as the starting point. This means you need to change how you phrase the scale because the point of resolution is now C. When you examine the structure of the scale, you find that it includes major intervals. The scale formula for the major pentatonic is root, major second, major third, fifth, major sixth. So, we got two different tonalities out of the same scale pattern, C major and A minor. They are considered to be relative major and minor. Whenever you play the pentatonic scale in this pattern, the first note is your minor pitch, and the second note is your major pitch. This remains true when you transpose the pattern. For example, if I move everything up a whole step, I have the key of B minor or D major pentatonic. I would use the pattern in this position to play over music in the key of either B minor or D major. If I start the pattern all the way up at the 12th fret, I can play over music that's either in E minor or G major. Now, the first rule of thumb you need to know when it comes to applying the pentatonic scale is this. The minor pentatonic scale is used to play in minor keys, and the major pentatonic scale is used to play in major keys. The second rule of thumb that you need to know is that blues music breaks the rules. Blues music often uses major chords along with the minor pentatonic. This happens in a lot of blues-based rock music as well. But that's a lesson for another video. All right, so now you understand the difference between the major and the minor pentatonic scale. If you found this video helpful, 
click like and leave me some comments below. If you still have questions, post them below and I'll answer. Would you like to learn more about music theory and how it relates to guitar playing? Visit my website, guitarmusictheory.com. Answer the questions I ask you about your playing, and I'll send you free custom video instruction calibrated to your current level. I'll show you how to get your playing skills in order and understand how music works. Go to guitarmusictheory.com. You can click on the link in the video description. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Desi Serna. Before you go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the little notification bell to receive alerts when new videos are uploaded. Then, keep playing and stay tuned for more.